new screening test may help fight the nation's top cancer killer, lung cancer. The National Cancer Institute recently announced a CT scans are 20% more effective than x-rays when detecting the cancer. Joining us this morning to talk about these findings is Dr. Aaron Gensch. Good morning to you, Aaron. Good morning, Molly. What's been uh, in the headlines so far? What is this study? Uh, explain how it works to us. The, these are studies that are being result, uh, released from the Nance National Cancer Institute. And what's really exciting about these studies is that this promises to be the first time that we have results in which patients are either screened with con um, conventional x-rays or plain films of the chest versus uh, low-dose uh, CT scans in order to identify patients that may have lung cancer. There's been a lot of studies released in the past, but those were criticized because they didn't have a control group or they were funded by the tobacco, uh, tobacco companies. These promise to be very significant results because they do have a control group and they're funded by the National Cancer Institute. And this is so important because uh, we mentioned lung cancer is the number one form of cancer that uh, kills the most Americans each year. Talk about how big yes. of a problem lung cancer is. Lung cancer is a huge public health problem. Uh, there are studies that show that this is the second leading cause of death in the United States, and it is the most deadly cancer in the United States and worldwide. Lung cancer kills more uh, patients than breast cancer, prostate cancer, colon cancer, and a number of other cancers combined. It's a huge problem. Uh, what are the downsides? Are there any to this type of screening uh, with the CT versus the X-ray? Yes, I'm, that's a great question. I'm, I'm glad you asked that. As exciting as these results may be, uh, this is something that we need to really look at critically and come up with some guidelines because there are some real downsides to screening patients for lung cancer with CT scans. These results, the, the studies show that they have a 25% false positive rate. That means that there will be thousands of patients that uh, lung nodules are found and these are not uh, cancers. Those lung nodules that are found are going to require biopsy and doing a biopsy, a lung biopsy in patients is not trivial. So there are some real risks to screening patients for lung cancer. Um, there's also the risk of increased radiation dose. These patients get annual CT scans. This was only done over three years, but patients got CT scans every year. Um, we don't know whether if we do this, whether patients will need to get um, CT scans for a much longer period of time and therefore have a lot more radiation. Mm, we have time for just one more quick question. Uh, what type of patient would this test be ideal for? That, that's another great question. We don't, we don't know what the optimal patient is going to be. We only know what was looked at in this study. And these were patients that were at very high risk. They were 25, or, I'm sorry, they were 55 to 75 years of age. They were older. They had a significant smoking history, about a 30 pack year um, history. And so those were the patients that were looked at in this study. All right, Dr. Aaron, thanks so much for joining us from Gunderson Lutheran this morning with some very so uh, interesting findings.